Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm president of National Academy of Osteopathy and today I want to speak with you how you can become a registered manual osteopath in Canada. But first I want to give my thanks to God. Thank you God for allowing me to be in this beautiful Panama City. I have been away for a year from Panama City. I came yesterday. Um, I moved here three years ago to set up a university, National University of Medical Sciences, Panama, which to teach Spanish language degree programs in osteopathy and other programs and I fell in love with this country and I moved here in 2018 permanently. Our university is right there, the, the office is just a few meters from this beautiful area. Panama is beautiful, it's paradise. Moving here is one of the best decisions I have done in my life. Uh, how you can become a registered manual osteopath in Canada? There are two types of titles in osteopathic profession in Canada. One is the educational title, such as DOMP, Diploma in Osteopathic Manual Practice, that I copyrighted it and uh, National Academy of Osteopathy uh, gives to its graduate. That's the educational title. Then there are professional titles like RMO, Registered Manual Osteopath, that is given by associations. RMO is copyrighted uh, trademark of the College of Registered Manual Osteopaths. This is uh, the first and only uh, osteopathic association in Canada operated by indigenous peoples of uh, indigenous peoples. As you know, manual osteopathy is a heritage of indigenous peoples. Dr. Steele, who founded osteopathy, lived with Shawnee tribes. Uh, people for 20 years and there he was exposed to the Cherokee bodywork and the healing arts. Uh, he took the physical techniques of uh, Cherokee bodyworks and created what we know now know as osteopathy. So it is a heritage of indigenous peoples. Uh, the president of College of Registered Manual Osteopathy is Dr. Amber Bellis. She's my student. She has She's, uh, she took uh, Doctor of Osteopathy, Doctor of Naturopathy, and other programs uh, with us. Uh, and uh, she's also registered Manuel Osteopath. She's um, from, a fir uh, I forgot the name of uh, her uh, First Nations, but I know it is in British Columbia. Uh, she has been uh, great in managing uh, College of Registered Manuel Osteopaths. We, uh, we are very proud of her. Uh, to have uh, and the works they do now most people know that osteopathy is a heritage of indigenous, indigenous peoples. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, I'm a member of the Southern Cherokee Nations in the United States. Uh, I'm proud to get that and I'm proud that they chose me as the Minister of Education for that tribe. I uh, served as the Minister of Education in 2020, but then uh, there were too many things uh, for me to do and I couldn't handle all the work, so I resigned as that position to focus on teaching and expanding my schools. Uh, but I'm, I'm honored uh, that now uh, many people know uh, that the profession has been created from a tricky body work it is a heritage of indigenous peoples and uh, this uh, college, the, this association, the College of Registered Manual Osteopath is, uh, is uh, spreading this information. So, to, uh, to become a registered manual osteopath, you have to contact this association. I think the website is manualosteopaths.org. They have the most restricted membership requirements in Canada. Uh, uh, but once you become an RMO, you can use that title. That title is accepted by most insurance companies in Canada, so it gives you the right to build uh, extended health plan insurance companies in Canada for the manual osteopathic care you provide uh, you provide to to your clients who are policyholders of these uh, insurers. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Wherever you are, I pray to God to give you a beautiful, happy, healthy, wealthy day. God bless. Namaste.